What's good, beautiful people? We're back with another Mel Talks, this time with stylist and fashion designer Donnie Hugh of Cafe De La Hue. Sit back as we talk with this LA native about his vision and his goals and everything and we hear about his product. I hope you enjoy and stay tuned. So I am a 25 year old artist. I'm a Libra. Um, my birthday is September 25th. I always think that's cool to tell people. I'm an ENFP personality type, which means I'm emotional, intuitive. I go off of feelings and perspective. Um, I'm a stylist, wardrobe and fashion stylist. I am also a designer for Cafe De La Hue. I created it as an entrepreneur. Um, yeah, I'm an activist and a philanthropist, and I do advocacy work for the LGBT community and young men who have sex with men between the ages of 18 to 29. Cafe De La Hue was, um, like I said, it was it started as a fundraiser for AIDS Walk. But when I created it, I was like so inspired and moved by like coffee shops and things you can get at cafes. Because um, I used to do a lot of my studying inside of coffee shops. That's where I got a lot of inspiration. And so when I wanted to create stuff, I wanted to create pieces based off of like desserts and pastries or things that you can find like that were edible. And I'm big on texture and texture like leathers, wool, tweed, um, velvet, like all of those things, they, they just scream quality to me. And so when I see them, I'm always like, oh, that looks like I can name that French toast or sweet ground cinnamon or like maple and brown sugar, like something cool. And it's really catchy. It, it like connects with people because food and emotions tie so deep into each other. When you put food with a product or food inside of um, your display or your visuals, then people are drawn to it and then it catches their eyes. When people see my bow ties or like, ponchos well usually when they see my bow ties I use a lot of um, trays and dishware and so people think that the things that I have are edible and they're not I just be like they're just bow ties and they're like oh my god I thought this was like a honey bun well that's the name of it you definitely have to have the vibe to rock the bow tie I think anybody can rock one but it just depends because you don't want it to be it depends on the size and the shape of the bow tie so a person's head shape and like the length of their neck and those type of things have a huge influence on whether or not somebody can pull off a bow tie. But I think anybody with the right styling, the right texture, color, size, and shape, anybody could do it. And I think that men, women, children, dogs, cats, lizards, everybody <laughs> should wear a bow tie because they're just awesome. I'm able to give back and raise awareness. That is one of the most important things to me because I, um, HIV and AIDS has been like a very prominent, uh, I would, it's like a complication. I don't want to call it a disease or anything like that, but it's a complication that affects a lot of people. People that are close to me, my friends, um, I've had a family member pass away from AIDS and I've had, a uh, lover in the past who um, is living with HIV and the fact that I'm able to give back and raise awareness on getting tested and making sure that people know their status and that there are other prevention methods like PrEP and stuff like that pre-exposure prophylaxis which helps like protect your healthy cells from getting invaded with the HIV virus and I think the fact that I'm able to use creativity and something that's personal to me um, as an outlet of like expression to raise awareness is like very inspiring to myself and then it inspires others to pay more attention to like what's going on in the community so um, I finally broadened up my philanthropy and steered a little bit away from HIV and AIDS and started to focus on Men's Health Awareness Month for Movember Foundation. The Movember Foundation, they raise money and awareness on prostate cancer, testicular cancer, cancers that affect men, along with things like mental health and suicide. And so with raising awareness on um, men's health this year as my philanthropic cause, I like to focus on mental health because I myself recently have just 
this year um, gone to seek therapy and mental health therapy um, for my own personal emotional well-being and I think that it's something that everybody should do I don't think that there should be a stigma or you know any type of stereotypes or any type of negativity associated with going to get something like therapy and so I wanted to focus on pushing my brand to make sure that people understood that mental health is something that should be taken seriously and like people deal with suicide people deal with depression people deal with anxiety I am very anxious I'm an anxious person and you know I don't get depressed often that's not something that has haunted me which I think I'm thankful for but I've seen people be depressed and not do anything about it and I've seen people attempt suicide and had to be there to save them and that's not pretty and it's a lot of men that are going through these things that are not talking about it and so the point of my brand being something that people can recognize and see as something that also helps the community is to be able to look at something as cool as a bow tie and then think consciously about your health and well-being whether it's HIV testing or going to get therapy or anything and it doesn't have to be a cafe de la Hue bow tie it could be a bow tie you see anywhere and it could be a simple reminder like ooh maybe I need to go get tested this month or hmm, let me check in with myself and like see where I am emotionally and I want people to start wearing both sides on days that they feel down because that might be a little bit of joy when people see both sides when people come up to my tables they're always like these are so cool and they be like ooh bow ties and they get like this specific light about them and you never know what that energy transfer can do cause sometimes I'll show up to a pop up shop and begin the showcase and I'll set up everything and then I'll forget like oh yeah shoot like I gotta I gotta I gotta talk I gotta engage with the customers. And if I'm in a bad mood, that's not fair. But then there's something that brings people with good energy and then we get that energy transfer and I brighten up and then I'm back at it. And I'm like, this is why I do everything. But you just gotta make sure that, you know, we as people, not just for men's health, but people's health and wellness in general, we need to make sure that we're taking control of that. And like, we have the power to make sure that we're okay. Nobody deserves to make you feel any less than or the fa- like make you feel like you can't proceed in life or progress or like educate yourself or that you're not smart enough you're not beautiful enough or anything like that nobody deserves that power and so I wanted I chose to take something like my creativity and my passion to make something as little simple reminders of that and that's where I want to take Cafe Dog. Thanks for watching another Mel Talks Please be sure to like this video and subscribe and share with everybody you know. We out here trying to support these black businesses and black entrepreneurs. Be sure to follow official Mel Pop on all social media platforms. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. For those of you looking to support Donnie and Cafe De La Hue, he will be having a pop-up shop at the event Pancakes and Booze Art Show on January 20th and 21st from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. at Lot 613. That's Lot 613, address 613 Imperial Street, Los Angeles, California, 90021.